Look at this hardware here in the shop. Getting everything ready for the trip into my camp. Got the big red here. Keely's not going. He's got uh, some kind of super virus. It's nearly killing the poor guy. I've got the Shelburne fuel treatment here. This is the winter treatment. So for uh, two ounces, 15 gallons in the winter, one ounce in the summer. I mean, it only takes one of these. Doot. And that's it. That's your ethanol neutralizer. That's uh, conditioner, cleans your system, stabilizes the fuel. Doesn't take very much. And the good thing about it is I'm only, you know, running 89 octane in here. I don't have to buy the high test now. So everything's a little cheaper. But I left one of these for a couple of weeks. Wouldn't start, it was all kind of weird. I forget which one it was. There's a couple here. And I took the carb apart and there was water in it. I don't know where the water came from. I suspect it was just sort of from sitting there, right? So, that ethanol collects the water. Just to put that little bit in there. Yeah, technically, you should mix this up in a big can. Then you're good to go. I'm kind of eyeballing it. That's just the way I do things. We got to get these babies all gassed up. We're going to some pretty remote places. So I'm hoping all these machines are going to run. I'm not quite sure which ones we're going to have to tow out of the bush, but we do have the razor and we bring in a trailer so we can just sort of lump everything on for anything that doesn't, anything that doesn't make it home. So that's full. Got old Flamey here. JL might be driving this one. Magic sauce. I'm gonna try out those new tires on the Razor, the traction grippers. It's gonna be awesome. Got the Kenda bear claws on the back of the 250 Big Red. Simon's gonna be riding that, and it is awesome. It shifts a little hard when I'm shifting it, so I'm not sure what's going on. A little bit of a hard shift, so I gotta look into that. I got that new Renegade 2005 up at the front. Put it up in the stand, I'll show that to you guys. That's gonna be nice. Just working out the engine details now. The top end on it's gone. So I get to start from the beginning, from the ground up, if you will. It's gonna be fun. What else? What else do we do? That's not going. This is running really bad. The motor's toast on it. I'll get the rest of this into the razor. Then we'll have to fill up. Look at those tires. I think I'm going to take it out for a rip in a few minutes. Yes, we'll go for the ride. Simon's not bringing his quad. Might be a little. Gotta save that for race day. This is a kind of a beater trip. Bring the beaters. Hopefully the razor will make it. I'm gonna change out the belt. I'm gonna adjust the clutching here in a few minutes. Uh, I had it clutched for the mud tires with the SLP clutch kit. So I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna just adjust it for these bad boys here so I get the most most pleasure out of my driving experience. Last September was the last time I filled this up. Had that old gas in it, ran it in the spring and it was horrible. It was uh, kicking and bucking and it wasn't that good. Put the Shelburne fuel enhancer in it and I'd say about five minutes of running, it was running perfect. You guys gotta look into that stuff. It is the bomb. I've got a email in at uh, our K-Tech with Kelsey, trying to figure out what we're gonna do with that motor. See what, maybe a big bore kit in the Renegade. Not quite sure, I'm just waiting to hear back from him. I don't have anything. 
Not yet. Make sure you go on my forum, guys. Okay. Um, so let's, here, show everybody that. This is a better angle now. Looks pretty good, right? I'm not too, not too happy about this yellow or this or this. So all that yellow stuff is going to come off, and uh, I think we'll go with the traditional black. I like this nice black shiny look, so that's what we're going to do. Looking forward to this, definitely. Yeah, you still have uh, a little bit? eight inches. Okay. Enough room to get the winch onto the thing. Yep. Yeah. Actually, that one's pretty slick, right? Yeah, they, they, the sliders grip really good. Better than going up with the mud tires. That wasn't fun. Um, yeah, I'm going to just lock her down with the winch and that's it. Right on. pretty much every time you come through. Mm -hmm. Through the place then. This is Andrew's first trip. Simon's first trip since uh, I don't think we've gotten this far with Simon on the snowmobile. Oh uh, no, we got a little yeah, further. We got, we got this mile marker 60. Yeah, that's right. So we're just about there. What are we about? 50. 50. 50, so. Yeah. We're getting there. We're doing for lunch. I don't know. What'd you buy? Did you buy hot dogs? No. What was on the list? Okay, what do we have? Anything? Do we have any yeah, other Apple cuts, bread, know. cheese, lettuce, tomato. Let's do it. I had sausages on there. Well, there were already had sausages. Okay. We've already bought some bread. Yeah, we bought a ton of food. I thought we were like all okay. given a first yeah. little uh, dinner. Yeah, but nobody responded saying what meals they were looking at. So whose fault is that, Andrew? I, I actually, I did. <laughs> I, did I did too. I the only one that responded. Really? I didn't get any. No? I said reply all and I said I can take care of uh, breakfast. and yeah. I got Someone said they were going to take care of something and I said I don't know what's taken but this is what I'm buying. I did a hundred dollar grocery before coming here. Just oh, stuff. Where's all your stuff? It's in, up there. Well, I'm, I'm sure we're just fine with the food. Yeah. Let's I'll, I'll pull it out. I bucks of meat and stuff and... I don't, I don't think you want to know what the last grocery bill was. What was it, 200? 230 like something? Tommy's eating the berries. Look at those berries, Tommy. 
Well, that's not too bad. We left uh, Ottawa at 5 o'clock this morning, and we are here right now. Tommy, it is? 3 p.m. 3, I called it. I said 3. That's not too bad, eh? So that's a total of... The memo I got was one. Well, no, I changed. I upgraded our uh, <laughs> time of arrival. I didn't get that message. No, that's because we had to wait for you for so long. Yeah, about that. <laughs> nice. Berries, berry season right now. There should be a bunch of blueberries in there, too. All right. It's all unloaded. Wastes. Grade the road on the way up with the trailer. This hill is getting so nasty. Uh, not be too long, we won't be able to use that. I've been coming. How long have we been coming back here, Tommy? Mid nineties. Uh, bought the camp in the boat. First time I was I, I was here was in ninety one or ninety two. What's this? What are we now? Is it that long? And I'm only 25 years old. What the hell, Tommy? <laughs> it's been, it's been 22 years. <laughs> How's that possible? I'm born in 92, just to oh say. Oh my god. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy smokes. That's all good. So what's the lineup we got here? We got the, uh, the 250 Big Red. Hopefully it'll make it. We've got the uh, 200X power cap, all ready to rock and roll. We brought the flamey. I don't know why I call it that. It's got flames on the tank. I guess that's why. This is for JL. He's either going to bring his Land Cruiser in tonight or tomorrow morning, or he's going to just grab the, the bike and, uh, well, if he comes in tonight, he's going to drive the Land Cruiser in, because if he drove this bike in the middle of the night, the bugs would kill him. And uh, if he gets in tomorrow, he'll just drive it in. So he's got that. Now we've got this boat and this awesome trailer. We're going to load it up with all kinds of stuff and then we're going to use the, the razor to pull all our gas and gear in. I think we may have to do two trips. That's going to be a lot of stuff. Just because I don't want gas all over my stuff. Uh, well, most of it, we can pile in a lot of gear. We can separate. We'll do it. It'll work. We saw one partridge. That's it for wildlife. So the decision is get to the camp and then maybe go out tonight and try to catch some pike. A lot of people don't like pike, but last, uh, what about three years ago, we came in here and we'd never eaten pike because we always liked the pickerel. The pickerel weren't biting. We went to a little secret spot of mine, a secret saucy spot, and uh, Caught a bunch of pike and cooked them up right there on the trail, and they were awesome. Now we always go back for a lunch, lunch snack pike. Very underrated. Everybody hates them because of the bones, right? Not me, not the boys. Okay, Tommy, watch yourself. Still rolling. <laughs> the, the tough way of rolling, easy way of unloading, gravity. Tommy, where are you going? You moved to the front and I moved to the back. So it's like that, uh, so, you know, swing it so it faces this way. So lift up the front. Hmm. You can hear JL now. I tried to start it and it wouldn't go. Ah, piece of junk.
Try and get this one going. Everything else in there? We're letting some air out of the tire. Yeah. Everything else is. Uh, Did you bring your tire pump? Yep. Okay, we got uh, a whole bunch of camera mounts. Yep. That black tire didn't go in. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna leave my tools in the truck. Just be mindful that, that you, you can get Lyme disease up here with the ticks. Just be mindful of what? Lyme disease. Oh. The ticks. Bob did get it. Remember? I got my uh, waders if I want. Or, no oh yeah, we're not. Yeah, we won't be going through any water. And, well, considering I don't have a I don't think they have socks. Probably doesn't have socks. Next time. The ones you can't see are the best underneath the branches. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what do you think the razor has on for a mode, Simon? Right now? With that trailer and the boat on eight cans of gas and all our stuff and some beverages. Six, seven hundred pounds. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. What's it rated for? Like two? 400? 200? Yeah. Definitely over 400. I think she's fine though. Oh, yeah. it's, it's not like, it's not tongue weight, you know? We're laughing. 
Never laughed so hard. Okay, so let's cut a strap over. We got this. this was the one that was dead, yeah? Yep. So I'm just going home with this. Not because I forgot, just basically because I forgot. Who, me? No, me. I forgot to bring your helmet. It's okay, Tommy. Just wear your seatbelt and think helmet thoughts. I don't hit anything. Think, just, thought, think don't crash. Just get as hard headed as Louie and you'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, where's the uh, cup holder? Oh, there you go. My shirt's on backwards. I just put my shirt on backwards. My son does uh, this all the time. I did. Looks like. He doesn't it. notice that. <laughs> The difference between a kid and a grown up. Yeah, but it, honestly, it took me about 40 years to figure this out. But I always have to look in the mirror. Yeah. I'm a mess. I'm a mess everybody. Okay, so. Gliots. I'm going to need one of those shirts for racing. What's that? I'm going to need a shirt like that for racing. I'll get you one. Get me one. <laughs> then I just need to wear pants and a motorfish shirt. Yeah. We'll just. Any race pants and good sure. to go. There's my glasses. Now I want to bring this. I want to bring these. Got so much stuff. think you'd hit a rock and it would kind of throw the front tire away? Yeah. Doesn't do it. He just goes over it.
This is it. There you go. What happened? So, how was that right in voice? Fun. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. That was easy. Uh, one uh, uh, one casualty here, the trailer. Dennis, we borrowed it from right, Dennis. We have more than one casualty, let's be honest here. Yeah, I know, we can't talk about that. But this is Dennis's trailer. We broke it. Tommy broke it. Because he's driving like an animal. Well, and he wanted to polish the boat. He said. So he gave her a little polishing right there. If you look at that, look at that. Got an extra five horsepower to the boat right there. Right? Oh, with no motor. <laughs> You better put those on your Articat. No, I know we got there. Yeah. They should have been on when we did the last video. Yeah, So, I don't know, boys. I think we should, uh... Well, we got to fix that. We have wood here. We can do that. That's easy. And, uh... It's not pretty bad. Oh, yeah. I thought the bolts came out. Well, it broke right on the grain. Oh, oh, nice. Well, we, we can... We'll make it a little bit better for them. That's, it was weak design, obviously. We found the weak point. Yeah, the that, weak I mean, that's what we do with power molds, right? Yeah. Power molds. That's what we do with power molds. <laughs> okay. What's in this thing? Hey? What's in here? All our clothes. Oh, oh, okay, I never saw it until it just it was on the boat. Pizza! Our clutch kit needs to. It's not revving high enough. Too heavy then. So, had knocked down half a gram. But it's, yeah, yeah, probably that's it. It just, it's just not got that little, like it should be a little bit higher than that, that res, but I'll, it's funny. Maybe, uh, maybe because of Tommy's towing. <laughs> maybe you wore a, you broke my belt. No, I'm just kidding. puts a smile on your face. How are those tires looking? Really good. Let me look at them. Looks good so far, right? Yeah. You want to come for a drive? <laughs> you want to try it out?
fucking got so much power. I could just go forever and do that all day. Nothing at all.